there and welcome to the latest episode of the sexy thyroid solution i'm your host angela brown so today i want to talk about eight common hormone disruptors that you should get rid of but if you could do me a big favor if you're watching this on youtube if you could go ahead and subscribe to my channel and then hit that bell so you get a notification every time i release a new video so this is a subject i really like diving into um these are some of the common things that i deal with when i'm working with my clients so i thought i would bring this up in a video um some of it can be a little bit confusing so I just wanted to go over some of the big ones um, that I've seen um, that are the most drastic ones that affect our health, particularly when we start talking about thyroid health. So um, endocrine disruptors um, are basically um, substances that affect what our endocrine system is doing. So they will interfere with our hormones, normal functions. Um, endocrine disruptors can be um, detrimental to thyroid health, to um, our sex hormones, even to gut health. There's a lot of different things it can do, but it has a pretty drastic effect on what our hormones are doing, um, including our thyroid hormones. So that's one of the reasons why I really like talking about this. Um, the, the crazy thing is endocrine disruptors, they can actually increase production of some hormones and decrease production of some hormones. So it will make a really big imbalance, um, in other words. So they, they are definitely something you wanna to consider to get rid of. Um, they are unfortunately found in common household items, um, plastic goods, personal care products, um, fragrances, foods, things like that. So um, first and foremost, one of the biggest ones is soy. Soy is a really big endocrine disruptor. Um, it can affect our hormones pretty drastically, especially um, when we start think, considering estrogen. So um, I would definitely get rid of soy, especially if you have a thyroid issue, um, you wanna get rid of soy. Um, and the other thing to consider with soy too is um, a lot of soy things are man-made. So that's one of the reasons why um, it can be such a disruptor. Gluten is another big one. I talk about gluten on here all the time. Gluten is a really big one that we need to get rid of. It will drastically affect what our hormones, especially our thyroid hormones are doing. Sugar also, sugar is very inflammatory. So that's one of the ways that it will affect um, how our hormones are working as well um, because it can create so much inflammation. And then plastic food containers. So think about what you're storing your food in. A lot of plastic containers have things like BPA, phthalates, especially BPA, and this will affect what our hormones are doing, especially our thyroid hormones. Um, so def definitely consider using like glass storage instead. Um, stress is another big one. So stress can drastically affect how our thyroid hormones are working, how our sex hormones are working, particularly when you think about um, thyroid hormones, it can affect the conversion of our inactive T4 to our active T3 um, pretty drastically. So and it, it actually, you can check a marker called um, reverse T3. Um, this is a marker that you can see on a blood panel that will actually increase. So definitely something to consider. Um, and birth control pill. This is a tough subject. So birth control pill is a synthetic um, form of hormone basically it's to basically stop you from ovulating um, it's to make you not be able to get pregnant um, it's to, a, a lot of doctors will use it to regulate the cycle unfortunately it actually ends up doing the opposite with your hormones it will absolutely disrupt your hormones it can cause copper toxicity there's a lot of bad things when they consider birth control um, and then if you're consuming tap water tap water has a ton of chemicals in it a lot of things in it that we should not be drinking I absolutely do not recommend drinking tap water. I would always filter. There are several filters out there um, that you can use. You can use the ones that go under your sink. You can use um, pitchers. Um, Clearly Filtered um, is one brand that I really like. I think they do an exceptional exceptional job. Um, Aqua True is also another one as well as Epic. Um, so I definitely would check those out. They all have where you can get a pitcher or have the under the um, sink where it's attached to your, yeah, like your kitchen sink as well. And then our food choices. So if we're eating a lot of crappy food, a lot of inflammatory foods, processed food, um, that will also disrupt what our endocrine system is doing. It's gonna take a lot more work to get those foods broken down and out of our system. And our endocrine system can pay the price for that. And plus it can cause a blood sugar handling issues and all that. So those are kind of the big ones um, that I would consider. If you have questions with that, absolutely let me know, reach out. I'm more than happy to chat, especially if you want more information about like where to get the water pitchers from or the filters, things like that. Let me know about that as well. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.